Hey, this is John. I'm doing a video on my solar power at camp. As you can see here, I have six 15 watt amorphous panels from Harbor Freight. I went with the amorphous panels because they actually perform quite well even in overcast weather, which in the northern zone of New York State we get quite a bit of. I started out with one panel, the idea just being to make sure I'd never have a dead battery out in the middle of nowhere. Then I picked up a second one, built a frame, started charging a few extra batteries, and running an extra light or two now and then. As you can see, the kit comes with its own frame. And I have that on this kind of a portable platform so I can rotate that for a better angle on the sun. They're all wired in parallel into this combiner box. And that runs a line into the camper feeding the charge controller, which we'll show you in a minute. And that keeps two 12-volt deep cycle batteries wired in parallel for double the amps. Uh, charged up fairly well. Hey, this is John. We're in the camper. It's actually raining outside right now. We'll hopefully have enough light to go over a few details. Over in the corner, I have the 7 amp charge controller mounted to a board. On a good day, six panels will give me about five amps for a charge. But even on a not so good day, overcast, I can get a trickle charge, which is a good thing about those panels. The load side, I have hooked into a fuse, going to a bus bar of sorts, and that feeds the camper wiring, which I've mostly redone for the 12 volt style plugs. I have a few other things like lights and the fan hooked up to it. But with this system, I can plug pretty much anything I want that uses 12 volts into it, like the radio or CD player. I have the portable battery charger, and that does double or triple A batteries. Picked it up at Walmart for 25 30 bucks, I think. <clears throat> I do have a power inverter, but I don't have it hooked directly into the system. I only use it when I want to charge my 18 volt power tools. Being that this is a portable system and inverters do use a little power just to convert energy, I decided to mainly stick with the 12 volt accessories. There's the ventilation fan, which doubles up as a oscillating fan hooked into the system. We'll switch for it. Over here I have the 12 volt style outdoor plug. There's one just like it on the outside. I can hook things directly into that. There's also a bracket for additional lighting in the back. I salvaged one old light system that uses a small 12 volt bulb. But the LEDs or the CFLs use a lot less power. The idea being not to overtax your solar system. Down the road I'm actually going to have to upgrade that charge controller and probably get another kit or a crystalline panel. The idea being to get away from using so much ice. And I need a 12 volt portable refrigerator for that. Thermoelectric coolers are not very solar friendly. They use a lot of power continuously. But they're good for the weekends. Well, that's one of the Harbor Freight CFL bulbs, by the way. Lights up the camper fairly well. There's another light. These LED lights work pretty good. You can charge the batteries for those. Most of them shut off after about 20 minutes. So you don't have to waste your power. And... Okay, part three. I just wanted to show you the charge regulator that's included with the Harbor Freight kit. I believe it's limited to about 4 amps. It's got a couple of nifty little power distribution connections. I don't like the way the lights plug into it, but it's okay for backup. It's really not designed to expand with, but if all you need is one kit for charging a few batteries and some lights, it's fine. That's about it. Thanks for watching.